Today I'm going to teach you how to make this rustic cottage. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to make in creative. In survival it would probably take a bit longer due to obviously you can't fly. Inside uh, we've got a nice fireplace, upstairs a second floor for your bedroom. Shouldn't be too hard on materials this and everyone on your server or your single player world will want to move in. So this is how you make it, start doing the framework. So for this you will need some oak logs or birch logs. I mean birch, no, but <laughs> spruce logs, you know, any type of log you want. You could even use um, wood if you want to do, but obviously for the design I just shown you, we will use oak. So what you want to do is you want to go first corner, you want to go up four blocks and you want to go on this top block across three. Then from that one you want to go up three, so you've got this archway and you want to go three across again up three and you want to carry on until you make oops three archways across this way and two across the front and the back we'll just do that quickly there you go so you've got our main frame done then you want to do the roof frames so you want to put one here you want to put one here one here one here and then this one you want to go all the way up and then skip the one in the middle just here okay and again one here one here one here and one here so it looks a little bit like this and you want to repeat this on the back i'll just quickly rush through it so for the purpose of the video like that. For the next bit you want to get some uh, cobblestone or you can use stone brick for this part so we'll, we'll and you want to make go in, inside the house you want to wrap around with cobblestone like so and wherever you want your door so on this one we'll do it here at the front you just punch a hole out like so. Then what you want to do is you want to get some oak planks and you want to build up from the cobblestone up to like so. Let's turn this down a bit, see if that helps. You want to go all the way around really quickly. You want to go across the doorway. There we go. You've got all your walls on. For an added touch, what I like to do is if you grab some stripped oak wood. So this is just the oak logs, but stripped. And place it every so often. You can copy what I, exactly I'm doing if you want. Just place them randomly amongst amongst the wood and it makes it look a bit more um, eroded and such. Put one there as well. Yep, okay, so the next step is optional. You can use uh, more wood, uh, yeah, oak for this or whatever other wood you have. But what I like to use is some light grey wool. You want to build up one here in the corner and build right the way across, break the middle one and basically fill in all the gaps so it looks a little bit like this yep do the same on the back under the middle as well uh, the next step you want to grab your um, spruce slabs uh, spruce fences and spruce stairs the spruce spurs, this is the tricky part, you want to place upside down on the logs like so. And in the middle you want to put one like that. And then going down again. So if you place the corner of the block, that's where you'll get it. On the back you want to do the same. Do in the corner of the block again. And the top, the sides, going down again. Then you want to place on the back of the log here, you want to place just near the bottom. And you want to go across like that and then place on every top on the top here on the the point you want to put slabs and you want to do the same this side there we go and then the next step is you place stairs all the way along if you stand a bit to the side it works if you do that it will place a corner so you don't want that you want to go all the way along and then we'll do this side like we did just then down and then you want to go across the side again oops 
Let's make it daytime. Oopsies. Time set day. And you want to place stairs across the. There we go, like so. And then you want to put your slabs and touch the other end, like that. The next step you want to do is you want to grab some dark oak. Sorry, planks. And you want to go. This is the way I do it. You can use change these for any type of wood you want. I think that dark oak and spruce match each other really well. So you want to go all the way across from on top of the logs and on the side of the stairs. You want to go all the way across. So you've got something like this. We'll do the same on this side. I think when I've built this in survival before, it does use quite a lot of dark oak just for the roof but you can I've done this before where you just put dirt on the roof and let the grass grow uh, which is quite a nice idea there we go and then what you want to do with the spruce fences is you want to place one in the middle like so one there one there and I think yep one in here one in here we'll do the same on the other side so we've got three one in the eave one in the east side and one on that side like that the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your spruce slabs and you want to put them Starting here, so on this corner, you want to put one here, and one in the middle, and one on the log again. One in the middle, one in the log again. One in the middle, and one in the log. We'll do the same on the other side. Log, middle, log, middle, log, middle, log. There we go. And the next thing you want to do is an optional feature, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. If you replace this log all the way to the roof, and get a column of uh, cobblestone and wrap it around like so there we go and we've got a chimney which can be inside connected up there we go and we can put our furnaces in here or you could put you could even put a campfire What I advise doing just to stop any flames travelling is to just do that. We want to do break all the grass inside. Put a nice floor in. I usually use um, birch for the floor. It's not useful. I don't like it for any other block apart from flooring. It's a bit too white for me for building with. You want to grab your door, which in my case, I like using the big dark oak door. Then choose your colour of glass. I prefer to use white in this type of build. You just place windows where you want on the inside. I prefer to do them on the ends. So here, here, and on the front. Also what you can do, an optional extra, is start here, go up three, and there you have your top floor. So we'll grab some, sorry, we'll grab some, uh, we'll use some more birch actually. We'll put another layer. You can use slabs if you want. I prefer to use the full blocks. It just adds that bit more of a cosy feel. And leave an open spot here for the, the flames to travel through. Put your furnace up here. Grab your cobblestone. And wrap it around. What we'll do now is grab a lantern. Just place this on the top. There you go. We'll go downstairs. Have a look. Wonderful. And there we have it. That's how you make your lovely new rustic cottage. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you've built it yourself, let me know. And thank you very much for watching.